What is going on you guys and welcome back to my Madden NFL 15 owner mode and you can see right over here We're about to trade Jason Witten to the Atlanta Falcons. What? Yes, we had to trade Jason Witten to the Atlanta Falcons and I know you guys are all gonna hate me and kill me because Jason Witten was supposed to be a cowboy for life. Jason Witten is love. Jason Witten is amazing But I'll explain why in the video after this intro sequence Hello everyone, I'm Larry Ridley and this is the NFL on EA Sports. As we head towards kickoff, two quarterbacks will be on the field today trying to push their team to victory. It's Whitehurst's Titans going up against Robo's Cowboys. Now let's head down to Jim Nance and Phil Sims for this week two matchup. Cowboys, Titans, rainy conditions here at kickoff and the rain should continue throughout the day. Hello friends, Jim Nance along with Phil Sims and Phil, the weather looks like it'll be a real test out there for these teams today. Yeah, it might be a test, but look, I'm, I'm tired of hearing about all this weather. It's going to affect the game. These are pros. These guys can handle it. They see all types of situations. So go out there and just execute your game plan. And if you don't make it happen, it's your fault. Don't blame it on the weather. The Cowboys are ready to run back this kick. All right, you guys, so I owe you an explanation. You can see we're taking on the Tennessee Titans, and it's actually raining here as well. But you guys want to know why did I trade Jason Wynn? Well, first of all, Jason Wynn was the fourth highest paid player on our squad. We had him for three more years, and that just couldn't happen. That couldn't go down. The reason for this is because Jason Witten, he's amazing, but he has probably like two or three years of high-level production left in him. So I figured I might as well get something for him right now instead of just cutting him loose deadly. So I went out. I decided to trade him for a fourth and seventh round pick because we're about to reach the rebuilding phase. And on top of that, we have a really good tight end backing him up in Gavin Escobar, who has a ton of potential. As you can see right over here, Tony Romo throws an interception to Wesley Woodyard. That's really frustrating after you put together a great drive. And that happens. So... I had to do it, especially if I wanted to re-sign the younger talents such as Des Bryant and Tyron Smith. But ironically, this guy could be next, Brandon Carr. I'm going to get to that at the end of the video when I ask you guys the typical roster question. In order for us to be great and get out of this mediocre situation, I'm going to have to make some pretty crazy questionable moves. So I hope you guys could bear with me, understand what I'm trying to do here, and I hope you guys still have faith in me as the owner of the Dallas Cowboys as we finally throw our first touchdown of the season of Des Bryant. So over here you can see the Titans have a little ground and pound thing going for them. What I mean by that is they just hand it off to Sean Green a bunch of times. Charlie Whitehurst throws a bunch of short passes and looks like they completely gave up on Jake Locker. As you can see, they're going to keep hanging it off to Sean Green, which confuses me as well. Because I expected them to have Bishop Sankey doing all this work, but I guess not. They're not even rotating him in. It's just all Sean Green, but who could blame him? Sean Green is going ham right now. So you can see right here, he's going to get a pass to Justin Hunter. They're going to get really close to the end zone. And again, Charlie Whitehurst. I believe that was Nate Washington that time. But that's only going to lead to a field goal thanks to my fantastic defense. And that cuts our lead to only four. So you can see we're going to skip ahead here a little bit over here. Tony Rumble's going to drop back. He's going to fire a beautiful pass on the curl route to Desi B. Des Bryant finally getting his reps in. Afterwards, Des, uh, he's going to go ahead and find Gavin Escobar, Jason Wynn's replacement. And keep in mind, look at how much time's on the clock. We have 20 seconds, so Rumble just chucks and prays to Des Bryant. And Des Bryant comes down with his second reception of the game for a touchdown. He's going to end up with five receptions for 69 yards and two touchdowns if you're a fantasy owner of des bryant after this game you'd be very happy but that's not it second year player jj wilcox is able to intercept this pass take it home for a touchdown and i'm thinking to myself that's going to do wonders for his confidence especially because jj wilcox isn't that good actually he was like a fifth round pick i believe he was a huge huge risky pick he was a project i don't know 
But you can see nothing really is going to happen until the end of the fourth quarter where Charlie Whitehurst is going to heave a bomb to Justin Hunter for a touchdown. Literally, all we would do is go back and forth. The craziest thing that happened was a field goal by my Dallas Cowboys. So there wasn't much else. So you can see right here, we're going to end this game with another W. And Jason Garrett is probably smiling right now because his job for the time being is secure. So we're going to get to the statistics here, you guys. You can see Tony Romo did throw another interception in this game. And Lance Dunbar had a terrible game. Ugh, just awful game. We need DeMarco Murray back, man. He's still injured. Gavin Escobar did pretty well for his first game as our tight end, man. Our starting tight end. So I'm really happy with that, what's happening there. You can see right here, we're going to face the St. Louis Rams next week. So I'm going to take you through the storylines. And of course, I'm going to bring up the every episode roster question. So here's this week's roster question. We just traded Jason Witten. And that's enough money to re-sign Tyron Smith, which is the player who I'm going to prioritize in this re-signing period. Don't worry. Des Bryant should definitely be in a Cowboy uniform next year as well because if I'm able to successfully re-sign Tyron Smith, at the very worst, Des Bryant gets the franchise tag next year. And I'm fine with that. So, on to the roster question, you guys. You saw us trade Jason Witten this week, and Jerry Jones still made some stupid moves when he was owner. One of the stupid moves was signing Brandon Carr to a colossal contract. While Brandon Carr is an above-average cornerback, he doesn't deserve that money. Should we trade Brandon Carr in order to preserve more cap space? Comment down below, you guys. If you enjoy this series, be sure to leave a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, be sure to subscribe. Besides that, I'm your boy, The Fly Bike. I'm signing out. Fark.